You better believe that me sitting here at 8 in the morning in my jammies means that some cruise line is having a pretty bad day. And that's because the premier private island in all of cruising, Perfect Day at Coco Cay, has taken a direct hit by a violent weather front, causing an immediate evacuation of guests from the island, property destruction, all of those things. And we've got some video to look at coming in from Coco Cay. Plus, the Carnival Magic experienced her own slice of terror when driving winds slammed her against the Jamaican dock, causing massive damage to the ship as well as taking out the dock itself. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships Channel. It's your Captain Corey. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And let's get things kicked off with a question of the day. Question, what is your favorite cruise line private island. If it's Coco Key, well, you're understandably concerned right about now as there's cruise news to deliver on that subject. Please let me know your answer to the question of the day about your favorite cruise line private island in the comments down below this video. Now, let's talk about a very not so perfect day at Coco Key. As one cruise news outlet puts it, take a look at this video coming in from social media. All kinds of folks are posting about this, talking about their experiences. This occurred yesterday on Tuesday down at Royal Caribbean's award-winning private island, perfect day. You can see high winds just annihilating cruisers perfect days. As a matter of fact, conditions were so poor on Tuesday that both ships that were visiting the island that day were forced to recall all of their passengers early. And one of the ships, Freedom of the Seas, even turned tail and ran to the safety of deeper waters, while a second ship, Oasis of the Seas, well, she was too big and she had to remain tied down there to the pier, fighting against gale force winds, threatening to snap her lines and push her into the docks. Now, remember, these cruise ships, they're essentially massive sails. If it weren't for their engines, well, they would be completely beholden to the winds. And unfortunately, when they get closer to land alongside land and port, they really don't have any choice but to either leave before the weather gets too bad or if it's too late, they got to tie down and hope to God their lines don't snap in the conditions that you just saw in those videos. Now, around 1 p.m. local time on the island, a call went out for everybody to pack their things up immediately and head back to the ship right now. A short while later, the pier was closed to all traffic, to everybody, guests and crew, as water began spilling over top of the pier, gangways were closed, and no one was allowed to leave the ships and be on the island. Coco Key itself, sustained some damage. Nothing major as of yet has been reported, no injuries, fortunately. However, those beautiful multicolored awnings, those tarps, sunshades, whatever you want to call them, leading the way, beckoning, calling you into your perfect day. Well, I got to say, there's a few less of them today than there were yesterday. Some of them just don't exist anymore as a result of the weather that's wreaking havoc down in the Caribbean today and yesterday and, well, all of this week. But you know what isn't wreaking havoc on cruisers this week? Well, it's all of the items in the midships Amazon store, of course. That's because, well, those items, they're time tested and they're Captain Corey tested as well. Captain Corey approved. These are the things I personally take with me every single time I cruise. I've curated them for you in one easy to browse Amazon store. Remember, Valentine's Day is a week away. And if you're struggling to think about a gift to give that significant special person in your life, well, perhaps that cruise lover in your life would love something from the midships Amazon store. Almost everything ships on Amazon Prime. You can return it, exchange it. Just give it a little try. There's a link in the description down below. Now we turn our attention to a major cruise ship crash. This bad weather down in the Caribbean is not only negatively affecting Royal Caribbean, it's a lot of Caribbean, but it's also causing a massive headache for Carnival Cruise Line today as the poor weather has caused the Carnival Sunshine to skip her planned stop at Princess K. But that's really not a huge deal. It's pretty insignificant as a matter of fact, compared to what else this weather has done to Carnival Cruise Line this week. And my friends, 
That is because one of my all-time favorite cruise ships, the Carnival Magic, was forcibly slammed into the pier in Jamaica yesterday, causing untold damage to the vessel itself. So much so that the ship, well, she had to go on a quick little shakedown or a little escape from the pier, hoping to find deeper water. We'll talk more on that in a minute because we don't even know if the magic is even seaworthy at this point. Now for their part, Carnival says, that the magic was involved in an incident while in Ocho Rios, Jamaica on Tuesday when strong winds and swells caused the port fender to collapse under pressure and the ship made contact with the pier. As a result, there were no injuries reported and the ship's services though did remain operational. The ship left the area for the safety of everyone on board, again, getting back to deeper waters. The magic docked again later on at a nearby pier so that guests who had gone ashore could rejoin the ship. Yeah, you heard that right. The magic just up and left while she had guests off the ship in port. Now, Carnival's shoreside team, their excursion partners there in Jamaica, they had to deal with all the fallout from that. They had to deal with all of the passengers wanting to get back on the ship because obviously the weather is getting really bad. They got nowhere to go. Now, as a result of the crash, the Magic will no longer be visiting Grand Cayman today. It's unknown what the rest of the itinerary is going to be looking at. Now, cruise giant Carnival has stated they are going to be keeping their guests up to date with all of the changes, all of the information going on as a result of this situation and the damage that has occurred to Carnival Magic as far as any itinerary interruptions. And that's the thing here, you see, the damage extent is yet unknown. It still needs to be assessed. And that's gonna take a little bit or a lot of time. So much so that the magic could spend a whole nother day, maybe even two days in Jamaica, waiting to be assessed fully. And that doesn't even address the fact that the pier where the magic was docked at is significantly damaged. At least from what I've seen from pictures, from videos, the whole entire structure has shifted from where it should be. Massive chunks of concrete have just been pulverized. They're destroyed. Now, again, I reiterate, we still don't know how bad the damage is to the magic. It could literally be just some massive scratches and dents, but I'm something of a catastrophist, if you haven't noticed. So there could also be a lot worse damage lurking, maybe even under the waterline that we don't even know about. This could be a situation where divers now have to go out and assess the hall of the Carnival Magic. And personally, I think that's the right thing for Carnival to do. Hopefully they go ahead and do that. This is scary, y'all, and I hope that it's nothing more than some scratched and dented metal. And well, this could have been a whole lot worse than it was, if we're being honest. And I don't think that's the end of this story because the investigation into the accident is forthcoming. Both the ship and the pier now have to undergo structural inspections and future visits of other cruise ships into Ocho Rios. Well, they could also be negatively affected by this. We could see Ocho Rios being wiped from itineraries as a result because, well, they're down at least one pier for the time being while it's getting inspected and repaired. And it should be noted that as of 9 a.m. this morning, the following day, February 7th, Carnival Magic appears to still be sitting in port down in Jamaica. Hey, look at that. Did you notice that you made it this far into the video and you're still here? I noticed, and I also noticed that you're not subscribed. Almost 60% of you haven't hit that little button right down here, the subscribe button yet. I'd like to take a minute to invite you to change that today by just clicking on that. Just tap on it right now. It's right down there. It's free to do. And if you change your mind in a few days or a few weeks or even a year, we can always undo it. This is not a permanent thing, but I'd like to make it a little bit more permanent. Thank you so much for considering joining the Midships family today. I would love to have you be a part of what we have going on here. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And until next time, we'll see ya on the midships, hopefully with a lot better news for Carnival and Royal Caribbean.